So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, based on the time zones you all are coming from. So before we start with the session, can you all please give me a quick information if you all can see my screen and hear me loud and clear as well? Great, thank you for confirmation, everyone. So let's start with a discussion on Salesforce for beginners, where we are going to discuss on what exactly Salesforce is and how exactly we can set it up. So that is what our goal is as a part of our today's discussion. So today we are going to discuss on the concepts of cloud computing and then what exactly is Salesforce, the need of Salesforce, the Salesforce features and the Salesforce working as well. So that is what we are going to talk about in today's session. So first of all, if you know, if you talk about cloud computing, it's simply in simple layman terms, it's simply using someone else infrastructure and we can where we can simply define what kind of infrastructure we need and we can subscribe to that and we have to pay only for the time period we have used it. First of all, if you talk about the cloud computing scenarios, like cloud computing is what? If we are using someone else infrastructure and then we have the complete control on what kind of infrastructure we want to deploy our solution on, we can choose the number of the number of cores, the amount of RAM, the bandwidth. We can choose what kind of services we want pre-installed, we can say pre-configured on those on those architecture. So we can define that and that is what a cloud computing is all about where we don't have to pay anything upfront and the entire costing is also going to be based on the pay as you go model so this is what cloud computing is all about and salesforce has been one of the most has been well, the first company to launch the cloud computing for the public for the public users so in the beginning itself so before salesforce customer relationship management solutions were hosted on a company's own server and it required a good amount of time and cost for companies to have their own CRM solutions. So now it has taken, suppose we can say months or even years to set it up. And again, the cost has went up to millions of dollars. So even after setting up, so they are extremely hard to use. So that's why they had to look for the most feasible solution. So that's why they have simply built the CRM software and deliver it entirely online as a service. And this was the main idea behind Salesforce. So Salesforce started as a software as a service company and Salesforce has grown into the fifth largest software company in the world. So why Salesforce gained such, such popularity? Salesforce wasn't just about a better product at a fraction of the cost. It was about replacing the lengthy installation process and moving everything to the internet. And they change then they change the business model. No more long-term contracts or expensive licensing deals. Anyone could use Salesforce with only a simple $50 monthly subscription fee. That's it. And what exactly Salesforce is again? Salesforce is like a complete solution offered to us. So which allows us to onboard the entire business processes online. And before we answer that question, okay, what exactly it is, let's discuss the benefits of using Salesforce. So Salesforce provides us with the fastest path from the idea to app. We can concentrate on building our application using Salesforce tools rather than building the infrastructure and tools ourselves. Now this can save us a good amount of time and millions of dollars as well. And Salesforce customers generally say that again, it is unique for multiple, for multiple reasons. Like it is fast, it is easy, and it is effective as well. And Salesforce is in the cloud so that our entire team can use it from anywhere with access to internet and if we are a business that is rapidly changing or we are a seasoned company that's been around for years our business is probably changing too and salesforce is a completely scalable to our growth as well and salesforce seamlessly integrates with third-party applications so if you want to integrate salesforce with gmail we can do it if you want to integrate it with the accounting software we can do that too and on the other hand the integration is tough with other crms so salesforce is affordable especially if you are Again, if you consider the vast variety of capabilities as well, and even startups and small businesses, they can also use Salesforce. So right now, as we speak, again, there are more than 150,000 customers all across the globe for Salesforce. That's a big number. So now, Salesforce, that's why we can say that Salesforce is basically one of the main solutions offered by the company, by the company as a part of fully managed customer-centric solutions. So, if you talk about the working on Salesforce, then again, we have a multi-tenant architecture that is followed by Salesforce. So basically, in here, the one server instance is going to be shared by among different clients, and that is called as a share instance. 
and then it is going to be economical for example if the cost the act if the actual cost of the server is I suppose ten dollars per hour then the entire cost is going to be split among different servers among different customers and that is what it makes it economical as well and vendors need to update only one application and the changes will be reflected on for all clients a single database stores it stores data of multiple clients as well and the sharing rules are enforced by the governor limits and here we have a complete we can say layer structure available in share database we have data that we have common metadata then we have tenant specific metadata and then we have polymorphic applications so salesforce uses a metadata driven deployment model so the functionalities of an app are defined as metadata in a database and it allows developers to concentrate only on building the application so it includes processes assignment rules sharing and security settings the visual force pages and all the apex triggers as well so it stores the page layout for accounts contacts and also for leads so there are multiple solutions offered by salesforce and data across different sectors like we have in communications again here we have the comcast spectator so again it's simply used salesforce to maintain the detailed customer profile so that they can identify their biggest fans and market more effectively more effectively to them like we have american express in financial services so american express uses the salesforce channel to make sure they to make sure that they are able to connect thousands of employees across organizations locations and time zones then we have for the government based companies so for, for government again let's say we have we have obama right so the staff of, of obama of america use salesforce to send personalized emails to users they also use dashboard to get real time read on what the nation was thinking about and where opinions deferred across different countries and then we have health leads so where salesforce community cloud health leads are leading the way to new model for healthcare also with salesforce app cloud they can easily view and update patient data coordinate with the physicians and find effective community resources as well and then we have sony again sony uses the salesforce service cloud to tune in with its customers and sony's customer cases are managed as one unified agent experience and then we have cc so cc uses a salesforce across multiple geographies and multiple business functions so from call center agent to service technicians and sales representative salesforce is being used to connect people and information and this has helped cc to deliver a better customer experience and same way we have again in terms of media consumption we have coke like we have coca cola so again the coca cola enterprises uses salesforce across multiple geographies and multiple business functions so from call center agents to service extensions and sales representative salesforce has been used to connect people and information and this has helped the company to deliver a better customer experience as well so there are multiple use cases we have again across all different segments across account management account the contact management module the opportunity management the integration with other applications are also available in salesforce let's say we want to integrate salesforce with other solutions that we have sap ods all the bi platforms and we can do that easily as and when required and it can be deployed on any cloud vendors as well for example if you now next is if you talk about the salesforce certification then we had the tract so we used to have the administrator track then we have sales cloud service cloud and the advanced administrator whereas now in terms of the developer roles we have the platform app builder then we have platform earlier it was again replaced by the development for zero one so here we have the development track so earlier it was the platform app builder now it is replaced with technical architect and then we have platform developer one which has been placed to platform developer out there so that has been the setup all right so let's see how we can set up a salesforce application here so we can set up salesforce locally or we can go ahead and make use of the cloud platforms to set it up just a moment now to work on salesforce we have to simply enter the credentials that we have so again to get started we can see we can simply refer to this home screen for salesforce let me just share that with you all here we go so here now salesforce is offered as a free trial as well so we can go ahead and sign up for a free trial so this trial is available for now for 15 days that we can use for our learning purpose and then we would be able to deploy this just a moment let's log into our dummy account here 
all right so this is a screen for salesforce we are currently looking at so here we have different sections so first of all starting from the home section now at home is like a complete overview for all the leads that we currently have so for example which leads we have here and again which leads are currently being recommended what exactly has been the post from the company account then in the account section we can see the recent accounts that we have currently worked on so accounts are like you can see the leads that we have so if you want to transfer the accounts here if you want to accounts as in leads accounts as in the leads for every account we can go ahead and see the list of all the active accounts here we want to if you want to create a new account we can create a new account if you want to customize entire view then we can do that so basically if you want to start with the new account creation here so we can click on new and under new we would be able to define the account name we can define the type so you can see here we have a different type of account here for example if this is what this is a customer this is an investor a partner a prospect or a reseller so you can define the account type for example this account is basically focused on a customer so here you can define type as customer suppose here we have john as a customer and then we can choose the account owner that means a person who has created this account and then we had a description then here we have the parent account in case this one is already available from or we can say passed on from some other accounts as well and then we can choose industry for example this one is focused on let's say based on the counter we can define this for energy or for some any other comp for example for banking or from other sectors and then we have the address information that means the contact details for this for the account here we can go ahead and click on save so currently this account is going to be created and again we can always follow up as you can see here currently we have the account right so we can see all the updates we can see find the post if you have a lot you know being a being someone in sales or being someone in marketing we always have to have the log calls as well so for example here we want to log a call we can define subject as call we can define the comments so for example interested in product requested for a call back on at suppose 6 p.m on monday and then we can define the name okay as a part of this is basically like a contact or simply a lead so we can define as contact and then here we can relate to accounts to asset to campaign to the list email to opportunity here we can define the related to as john so here we can click on log a call so this call is this call detail is going to be logged here as you can see here the details of this log is going to be visible and if you want to add more topics we can define more topics as well or keep i can keep it to this this one for now again we can click on account to see all the active accounts here we can open the account we can see all the activities done but now here we have the account summary so we can define the entire opportunity if the lead is an opportunity if the lead is about to be closed you can define that and here we have related contacts we can see the amount by by stage if you want to customize it we want to save it we always have the option to subscribe subscribe means in case they have been any chain now we want to closely monitor this being a manager we want to closely monitor this account so if you want to customize it so here we can go ahead and set it up so customization means we would be able to you know subscribe means you'll be able to get updates for any for any activities being done on this account here we would be able to get the updates so now once we are done with the account creation here so next is we can define filter by and here we can simply group the accounts in case they all are co-related to each other then we have now currently we are in the report section so we have something called as leads leads are now accounts we maintain for big accounts here when we are then they're having a good specific value whereas leads we can maintain so here we can define lead for example say here we can go ahead and click on create new lead click on new section and here we can define lead status as now it's a new lead it's an unqualified lead when that means suppose if the person who has request who has inquired for something doesn't is of is something that we don't provide so again this one can be an unqualified lead or we have a qualified lead that means or it is still in the working stage we can define this as a new lead we can define the salutation of the person for example say here we have jane where we can define jane doe and here we define title email phone number suppose as jane at the rate example.com and here we have the phone numbers then we can define rating 
it's a hot lead it's a warm lead or it's a cold lead so for example if this lead has been available from the website itself so again we or the person itself has called us so again this can be rated as a hot lead and then we can define more details in terms of a company account here for example if this has a fine from if this it has came from a company for example let's say abc company itself and then we can find the in uh, we can say information based on what we have so here if you now go back to lead section we can see we have the jane doe lead available we can open this up and here we can see the lead details in terms of lead owner then we can see the files for example let's say we have to apply we have to update certain records for example we have uploaded the documents we have some interactions we had shared some brochures we have some forms filled so we can upload all the notes here in case we, we, have, we can upload all the files based on any scanned document or any images that we may have for example the person has filled up a form and that's how we have got the lead so the form with this should be filled should be uploaded here and then we have the notes so in case if you want to add any additional notes for this particular lead we can add the notes here for example let's say she is looking to buy product in next one week so we can add all the nodes we have so we can simply click on save and the same node is going to be updated for the current lead and then that is something that we can easily visualize by seeing the report so that if multiple teams they are going to have the same records that we can see okay they can have a complete idea okay what this lead is all about they can have a complete idea on it and then here we have open activities for example say we have we have a new event for example we called up this with this particular lead we call this learner up or suppose we have to define any reminders we have sent something here we have sent any invite as well so again we can define that so depending upon the requirement we can choose the leads we can choose the, the source of contact accordingly that can be easily updated and same way if you want to log a call suppose here we want to log a call for example suppose here we want to make changes here we can simply go ahead and click on edit and here we can apply whatever change we want for example this is not mr this is suppose and then we can go ahead and save it and now if you want to log a call file so again we can find log suppose the person uh, didn't suppose this is didn't answer the call we can define the exact time at 6 30 suppose at 6 30 pm so we can go ahead and simply log call as a part of we can define as an opportunity so currently what we are doing here we are simply updating the lead itself so suppose if someone else is going to make a call they will know okay that this person didn't respond it and at what time the call was being made here suppose if the activity is being recorded later on so we can mention the name as a good practice when was the last call sent to this particular person so these all parameters we can set and then we have dashboards where we can visualize everything that we have created so we can see how many suppose here we can see the count of the number of leads that we have okay i think we may have logged out because we have we our session may have been timed out so we can log in back again thank you so much for joining everyone and have a great day ahead take care bye bye